child, I dreamed of doing ballet and I did martial arts my whole life. Um, can you do martial arts? Yes, JP, of course I can. <laughs> you don't think we should have been doing ballet since five years of age before trying something like this? Um, I mean, maybe. <laughs> I'm keen to try it. I'm 30, a little bit late to start ballet. Just imagine, in your 50s you start and you go to a ballet lesson. It is so exciting, I can't wait to be there. We need to find a adult ballet class in this area. And I have a friend who's actually done it, so let's just chat with her and ask her if she can recommend anybody. That would be a good idea because she'd probably know. Yeah. Hey Marks! Oh wow, that is so exciting that you want to try ballet. Yeah, I just went for classes with Debbie who runs the Just Move Dance and Fitness Studio. She started ballet at 14, uh, which is quite late for ballerinas, so she has a lot of empathy for late starters. You may actually also meet Caitlin, who also coaches ballet there. Uh, yeah, both girls performed with the Cape Town City Ballet at different points in their careers, so you'll be in really good hands. Let me know how it goes. Hi guys, I don't have ballet shoes here today. Um, was I supposed to buy some? Is it going to be okay if I don't have some today? It's absolutely not a problem that you don't have shoes. Most studios will accept that you do your first class in socks. It is a little bit of an investment, so I always suggest to people to try their first class in socks and then if they want to continue with classes to go and get some ballet shoes. Okay, so before I make a fool of myself, I have to know whether it's too late for me to even start this ballet adventure. If you're wanting to start ballet just for fun and maybe even do some shows or competitions, even exams, it's never too late. Oh, okay, that's refreshing. <laughs> but why is there the stigma around ballet that makes it feel a little unapproachable for adults? It can be a very intimidating space to come into as an adult because I think ballet is seen as this like elite out there, very different art form. And I think people sort of jump to the assumption they feel too clumsy or um, they feel maybe a little bit self-conscious about their bodies and that kind of thing. And I think actually once you're in a class, you, I don't know, there's something that just sort of happens. I think you feel comfortable just expressing yourself in a beautiful way. When I watch ballet or even hear the music that forms the soundtrack of a classical number, I feel a pull to the art form. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Where could this stem from? I think it's a little bit like therapy. <laughs> yeah. It's very therapeutic for yeah. people. Because it's not just a way to keep fit and move, but it's actually an experience. Yeah. Something about learning ballet that it requires 100% of your attention 100% of the time. <laughs> so there's not really much room in your brain to think about anything else. So it is a nice form of therapy because it forces you to switch off all the outside noise and just focus on the counts and pointing your feet and the technique of it. Remembering so, the combination. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it does force you to forget about all of the other stresses of outside life. You're so comforting and kind. <laughs> well, it's clear to me we're in good hands. So to the studio we go. So the first thing we're going to learn is just a little warm up, a ballet warm up. We're going to include some plies and a little bit of footwork, just warming up the ankle joints and the feet. All right, so we're going to start in the first position. the next exercise we're going to be doing a tendu's exercise involving feet and more legs and a little bit more brain work and combinations. Alright, on to the 
next exercise, we're going to be doing something called a grand batman en cloche, which means like a bell. So you're going to be swinging your leg forward and back like a bell. into an exercise called port de bras, which means the carriage of the arms. So we're gonna be moving gracefully. It's quite a slow exercise and just adding a little bit more upper body. Exercise. We're going to be traveling from one corner of the studio to the other and hopefully not get too dizzy. Now we're going to move on to some little jumps called Allegro. We're going to be warming up the feet and getting ready for some bigger jumps. Grand Allegro, which is basically a big jump, and you're going to be also traveling from one corner of the studio to the other. It's lovely just to get a chance to move and to feel like you're dancing. So before I give you my review as to whether I think I'm too old for ballet, you might be asking the same question I was asking. Can you do ballet at home first before joining a studio? So we don't offer our actual ballet classes online just because of space and also it's quite a technical class. So it's quite tricky to follow online, especially as a beginner. Um, but what we do have is Barfoot that has quite a strong classical ballet influence in it, but it's a little bit more upbeat and definitely doable for, for people at home. And we also have Dance Fit and Pilates online as well. Also, they draw from our classical ballet so history. Starting off with a bar class is a really nice way to just have a few little ballet influences and try out some different positions and steps and then definitely find a studio where you can take regular classes. Well, it's time for my input as to whether I think I could start ballet as an adult. <laughs> I, I didn't think I'd have so much fun. I thought it'd be a complete mess, but it was just so, so great. I think it helped that we had teachers who were incredibly patient, but also super inspiring. I mean, Debbie is clearly someone with a magical touch because not only did she inspire confidence in the class today, but can I just take a second to admire what she did to the studio? She transformed a big old room into something fresh and classy. Mom, how would you sum up the time? This ballet was an absolute blast. It was delightful and always lost myself in the music and the steps and in concentrating. It was a fulfilling experience. Huge thanks again to Debbie and Caitlin for opening up so much time to teach us how to do ballet. What a vibe. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I will see you in one of my next videos. All of the best, guys. Take care. Bye.